Sonic Universe issue 95. I was really disappointed that there was only one issue of the fan continuation out. This schedule must be really slow! Well, I hope this is good. We start out in meter res, with Sonic and Antoine rushing to attack someone with a big sword whose look reminds me of Metal Sonic if he didn't have black eyes and a jet engine chest. Why can't I zoom into the pages? This discourages me from reading the dialogue if it doesn't look like I have to, because I can't even see it unless I'm closer to the computer. This isn't taking nearsighted people into account. Basically, Sonic and Antoine are fighting this jerk who's probably working for Eggman, and yet is arrogant instead of miserable, which is exactly why the Egg Army members suck as characters. Already, I don't want to read this guy's dialogue anymore, because he's probably going to do nothing but give unwarranted insults out. I start out the story detached because I don't already know why Sonic and Antoine are even here. Just because the reboot kept making this mistake whenever Sonic went to a new country, doesn't mean it's acceptable here. I know the heroes have to win. The bad guy hits the floor with a sword and it sends him up in a shockwave, I guess because he has super strength, and crumbles the floor, sending Antoine down a hole. And then just when I was trying to get invested in the story, it cuts back to earlier. This just makes me wish these pages were at the start so that I could get naturally invested in the story just a panel in. The first pages could have been at the end of the issue, even if as a flash forward, which they'd need if the plot's pacing was too slow. So we see Sonic on the wing of the plane heading for a castle, which reminds him of the Acorn Castle. Antoine explains that his own family had a castle as well, so he comes from royalty too, because he's a main character, so he deserves to be special. It's the same reason Charmy's a prince, except he's probably not a prince in the reboot anymore if the way he's written in the last arc is any indication. Then Antoine exclaims an outdated French phrase because he sees a grassy statue of himself with its head cut off. Well, it's either a statue of him or of his father. Sonic says he normally joke about this, which he did in Archie Sonic, so this is just a reference to that. He wants to investigate what's going on. Let me guess, his family castle has been taken over by the Egg Army, which he should have assumed would happen if his parents died and he had no other relatives. This is not fun, even DeviantArt let you zoom into the panels of the comic a little bit. So it's not as much of a constant struggle to read. Why couldn't they have asked Archie Sonic online for help? They let you zoom in. Sonic stays optimistic, appreciating the way the castle and courtyard look with his hand on Antoine's shoulder. Antoine reminds him that they're here to see if his home survived the shattering of the planet unharmed. Sonic decides to get Antoine to start filling in on the history of his country to cheer him up. I guess after all the time he's known him, he didn't care enough to ask him to fill him in on that years ago. Too bad the panels insist on being in fade out color just because they're flashbacks, making them boring to look at. But technically, these pages are flashbacks too, from the first page. So what's this panel's excuse for being boring to look at? You're already asking a lot of me to care about seeing ancient history that's probably nothing but wars over and over again, considering how history usually is. He explains that the country used to suck until three kings banded together. I don't know what the second one's called because the text is too small. They knew that it sucked to stretch their army too thin, so they chose noble houses known for their virtue, skill, and loyalty to defend the kingdom in their place while they led far-off campaigns. Oh, as in wars? So each family got a sword. Antoine says his family's raised generations of fine soldiers, and nothing but that? That's boring, just the same job over and over. If Sonic just picked up Antoine and ran through the entire castle with him, he'd be able to fully check out the castle much faster, and the plot would be as fast-paced as you'd actually expect. Instead, Sonic really wanted to cheer Antoine up in this particular way for the first time in... ever. Couldn't he just run through the castle really fast with him and then buy him some ice cream later? It turns out Antoine's family sword was lost in the war to Eggman. Antoine's put in a bad mood again when he sees another vandalized family picture. Sonic should have expected this and not even bothered trying to cheer him up. Imagine how much further ahead we'd be in the plot. Or in the castle, at least. Sonic says that this castle would have been impossible to get to when the planet was broken. Except for people in planes and helicopters belonging to Eggman. They see an Eggman symbol there. They could have seen it right away and saved us some panels. 
Then because fuck the simple solution, it turns out the men that did the vandalism are long gone. I liked what little world building I got. I can tell this is written by Flynn. The story's based off pencils of an issue that was planned to be released by the reboot. Which means that the real writer of the story was Flynn. And the writer of this only has dialogue to their credit. So a sad AM character being made miserable and not a game character, and an unlikable jerk. These are both familiar problems to me. The jerk explains that nobody was guarding this place, and yet he had to chase people out of it. So for no reason, he considers Antoine's family to be cowards. Can this jerk die already? I'm bored of him. He only has one personality trait, so there's a reason I'm refusing to call him by anything else. You'd think Sonic would actually hit him accurately with his spin dash, considering how fast he is. The jerk claims that his family earned this castle instead, with no evidence, and says that his sword is an enchanted gift from the Great Kings to his ancestor. He says that they didn't need favoritism from a monarch to be considered worthy. Why worthy then? Where else did they get the sword? He just said they got it from the Great King. So he's from a different noble family? He was an acting noble. It's good to have a villain that's not part of the same old villainous team as usual, but he was acting no more likable. Antoine's told that his family lost all respect for losing their sword, even though it was Eggman's fault. It makes sense that someone as anti sad -am as Flynn would only consider making a sad -am character a prince from a noble family if he was going to turn around and have him be told that his family had no respect and were just cowards, so he can't even benefit from it. What took Sonic so long to spin dash at his sword? I refuse to buy that the jerk would have been able to make any kind of speech with Sonic there. Sonic would have homie attacked him into unconsciousness right away because of how fast he is. Instead, the story is going to completely forget that Sonic is fast. And if that's going to be the whole excuse for this arc being four issues long, then I don't care whether this arc gets finished or not. I'm sure every issue will just be this. It has no excuse for not being over already. So it deserves to be just one page because that's how basic its plot is so far. Why did Sonic attack the sword instead of the jerk? Then the story cuts back to present time, where Antoine's falling down a hole. So they're going to waste our time focusing on just him, angsting, which would be boring, but not as frustrating as Sonic somehow not defeating the jerk instantly. Antoine conveniently finds a box when he just said that he'd expect Eggman's side to have taken everything. He finds a touching letter and a sword of his own. I didn't bother reading the letter because I can't see its text at all from an arm's length away. It's all just black lines. And the fact that the text is slanted at an angle doesn't encourage me to keep my face right up to the computer screen to read it. The bad writing doesn't encourage me either. Uh, how did Antoine get out of the hole? I thought he fell quite a distance. Wait, I just remembered. In Sad AM, there were multiple times where he proved that he could jump really high. It was only when he was really scared, but still. I guess we were supposed to assume that he uses really high jumping powers to get out of the hole. I wish we saw that. That would have been an awesome callback to Sad AM. He looks cool with the sword, but he's just going to use it as a shield against the sword. Which again, is not how actual sword fighting was. That would break the blades. He's actually better off fighting with a blunt weapon like a staff so that he'd actually be allowed to hit his opponent head on. But instead he's forced to be completely ineffective. Even punching him would be more effective. It'd catch him off guard. I just want the fight with this jerk to be over as soon as possible because I know he wouldn't be any match against Sonic. Sonic's fought so many Egg Army members by now. So I think he'd know how much force to attack them with and how exactly to hold back. So him being organic is no excuse. Antoine makes him drop the sword, which I'm sure Sonic could have done. Sonic could have attacked the jerk from behind while Antoine was distracting him. But he really wanted to let Antoine have his moment. So now the jerk's defenseless. And then he died. No, the heroes are too gutless to do that. Said Sonic knocks him out and carries him to the police at super speed for trespassing on Antoine's property. Now that require actual logic. So because the next page doesn't involve that, and instead has him awake and blathering on and then walking away, I'm not reading it. His every line of dialogue is just saying he's unlikable and deserves to die. 
No, I wish you had that kind of self-awareness. Isn't it common sense to write the story to have the bad guy be beaten up and get everything he deserves at the end in an action series? Instead, he barely suffers anything, and the story ends with the heroes leaving the castle after acting self-congratulatory. I didn't read this page either, because I know the plot is over by this point, and I can assume they're just being nice to each other. And more importantly, the text is too small. Here's what happens when I try to zoom in, I'll show it to you. If they wanted me motivated to read all the dialogue, they should have had a story that was interesting, which Flynn didn't provide. The story ends with Sonic flying away in his airplane, bringing back the fact that he can fly a biplane from the Genestark. And so I wonder why anyone expects a jerk not to come back and take over the house again. Why is the off-panel something that could have easily just been the ending of the story? It turns out that Antoine didn't report to Sally in person because Bunny whisked him away to worry over his injuries. It's kind of interesting that she's no better than him because she was annoyed that he was worrying too much about her being hurt, but she's no different. This issue is based on what was drawn of an issue tended to be released in the reboot, meaning that the person who actually wrote the story was Ian Flynn, and it sucked because of that. Another overly basic plot that is no excuse for being as slow paced as it is, that gets forced when it would have ended much earlier. What would actually happen is that Sonic would knock out the jerk for insulting Antoine's family and carry him to the cops for trespassing, right away with a super speed homie attack. Somehow, the fight lasted almost the entire issue. It figures that the only reason Flynn would give a sad amp character a noble family is if he was going to have someone trash his family and invalidate that. It was interesting to read that his country had three great kings that shaped up the kingdom and made noble families their armies in their absence. I liked that the history wasn't just war. But that was it for developing on Antoine's country. You'd never be able to tell that this was supposed to be France. Or anything. I don't think Jerk speaks with a French accent. Sonic didn't visit Paris like I'd expect. He didn't interact with any of the civilians. I'd rather see the story get lengthened by that than by a fight with a jerk I want defeated right away. How did Antoine find a sword when he thought Eggman's army had picked this place clean? I liked what little world building I got. That's something to look back on the issue fondly for, it's worth it. But I certainly wasn't enjoying reading it. And most of that was because it was impossible to zoom in on the panels. So in order to read the dialogue, I had to have my face really close to the computer monitor and lean forwards. The plot wasn't good enough to make that worth it. It was literally just Sonic fights a bad guy way longer than he should have, then Antoine finds a sword somehow and makes him drop his. The jerk doesn't even get beaten up, so what was the point? I wanted to like this, but I couldn't. And with that, we're finally done with the reboot. And IDW Sonic's up next. I also have a lot of really good comics to talk about.